how those that were there will slowly start being in the room. And now we're recording, so we'll see those uh, we'll see those attendees start to pop in shortly. And I'll, I'll just keep an eye on them a little bit from here. So what I don't know for sure if that if that twenty seven was the total registered for the next two, basically, or uh, so if that was really our total, or uh, or whether we were just getting this one date because it's not showing me exactly like that. Um, oh yeah, it is. That's more than fifteen. Yeah, it is twenty seven. Yeah. So it looks like six so far are in. Um, we'll just we'll let people trickle their way in. So. Um, so hey everybody, who is in so far? Um, Jared, just so you know, I got kicked off. So uh, and my uh, my Chrome uh, went down. So I've got to bring up those um, pages again. Those pages again? Sure, no yeah. problem. Well, people are just uh, people are just getting in. Hey everybody, um, as people are logging in, we're just uh, we're just finishing getting all our ducks in a row. Um, We've got a good handful of people who are at least, at least registered to join us today. Um, nine so far. So, so hey to everybody. Um, if you are, uh, if you're hearing this, let's. Um, all right, you should be able to hear me. Uh, this is Jared, by the way. I'll we'll do some more introductions in just a second. But um, but thanks for joining us. If you would, um, uh, find your way to that chat box in the bottom right corner there, and just say hi. Say where where you're logging in from. Um, and uh, let us know. I uh, let us know that you're here. So glad to have you. We'll get going in just a couple minutes. We're letting people get get uh, logged in. And I assume you can hear me, okay? Yes. All right. Yep. Good leaf. Okay. Great. Good. Uh, Jared, let me just test the screen share um, real quickly. Um, if I do that and then there, does that look right? Jared, I'm not hearing you, so I don't know. It looks totally right. I, <laughs> okay. I just text. I just uh, put some text in the chat as to why I was keeping myself muted for a minute here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, the, the weather siren. I wondered what that noise was. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's terrific. Well, uh, when the siren ends, which obviously at the top of the hour, uh, that makes sense. Uh, if you want to do uh, any introduction or, or whatever, uh, you can launch us into that. <laughs> This will be the. This will be for sure a best recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, indeed. That's Tanya. I'm. Uh, I'm in Burnsville, um, south of the Twin Cities. So they're all. They're all. Go <laughs> Good heavens. They're all going right now. Give me a sec, guys. Sorry. Okay. There must be weather moving in to the Twin Cities area, huh? You okay. know, it's it's there's. I think it's just the test. I think, <laughs> but uh, but there is kind of blowing, and it's been really nice. Uh, but it's uh, it's there's the the cold. There's a cold front coming. So, mm -hmm. okay. I think that was just the end. Really, hopefully, they won't start up again. I, that just makes me chuckle. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> uh, 
So it looks like we've got, um, you might still hear a little in the background. Oh my gosh, come on. <laughs> looks like we've got 11 folks. Uh, uh, we'll, uh, so we'll dive in. Um, thanks everybody for logging on. Uh, there might be some others who might, might trickle in, but thanks for joining us for this intro to Vibrant Faith University. I'll, I'll introduce Leaf really quick in just a minute here. Um, but, uh, but you find your way to the chat box for the most part. And uh, so that's a great place to have, to have conversations um, over the course of the time. Feel free to throw in ideas, um, other, other things that you've heard as, as uh, Leaf is talking. Kind of how we'll, how we'll go is uh, we'll spend the first chunk of time, Leaf's just going to really walk you through um, the platforms and, and uh, give kind of a run through. And then we'll, so we'll take kind of two chunks. That'll be the first chunk. The second chunk is when we'd love to um, have you ask questions, I uh, have those kinds of conversations. If you've got questions, um, you can you can feel free to throw those in just along the way, so you maybe don't even, don't forget. Um, again, we'll have some more intentional time for that at the end. In the in the bottom right corner there, where you've been chatting in, if you click the little gray box that has the white speech bubble in it, um, I think that's what it looks like for you guys. Uh, you can kind of toggle between chat and uh, and Q and A. Um, so I think it says like ask a question or something for you. So if you've got a question um, that, you'd, that you'd like us to answer, that'd be a great way to just make sure that we, that we get that, that we see that it shows up differently. Um, so if, you, if you've got a question, click that button, uh, click ask a question and then type in your question. And um, it, depending on what it is, I might chat in a response to you um, and or I, it'll, be, it'll be something for Leaf to respond to verbally. So um, I think that's really most of what we would need by way of tour of our of our uh, online gathering platform. Um, and I think we're good to go. So thanks again, everybody, for logging in. Uh, Leaf is excited to chat with you. Leaf Kerwald is our uh, partner for training services at Vibrant Faith, and so that means a lot of things. That means he thinks um, he thinks a lot about. Um, what's going on in your world with uh, with church leaders and develops uh, events, some online, some face to face, some resources, um, and things like that to help pay attention to what's going on on these frontiers of faith formation, what's going on in the in the world today and and future looking as well. Um, and one of the things that uh, he has been working to develop with with a couple others is Vibrant Faith University. He's excited to share it with you, so he'll do a walkthrough and then we'll have some time for questions. Thanks, Leaf. Feel free to dive in. Great. Uh, thank you, Jared. Appreciate the introduction and uh, appreciation to all of you for joining me. Uh, please bear with me for 10 minutes or so. I'll give a broad uh, introduction to Vibrant Faith University. I'll show you some of the details. I'll take you to our learning management platform, uh, and, and, and then we'll do some questions uh, after that. So, um, I want to begin by saying it's pretty clear to us and I think it's clear to you that churches today need a new way to do faith formation for all ages across the life cycle, across the lifespan, that is not based on outdated assumptions, but rather recognizes the realities of 21st century people today. It's clear we need a new model of faith formation in order to transmit faith to the next generation. And so with that in mind, I wanna share my screen I want to take you to the uh, to the web page vibrantfaith.org-vfu, the Vibrant Faith University page, and I simply want to say that we have designed Vibrant Faith University around this desire to create a whole new ecosystem of faith formation, and it's anchored in six particular characteristics. First, a sense that it it has to take on an intergenerational quality, intergenerational context. It recognizes the power of parents and home in faith formation. It addresses the unique needs of age groups. So age segmentation is still a part of this ecosystem, but not the center part that it has occupied in the last couple of generations. It must develop a missional outreach to those who are on the fringes, uninvolved, unaffiliated, and it, it must be digitally enabled. We must make good use of our digital tools and we must go to the digital places where people hang out. So it's these five things plus a, a key component that essentially you bring. 
it, this ecosystem calls for an innovative, collaborative, forward-thinking set of leaders who are committed to faith formation in the 21st century. And we see that as you, or you along with us uh, in partnership. So, Vibrant Faith University presents a new vision, a new set of practices anchored in the most recent research and the most recent resources uh, available uh, to us. We're so grateful to have John Roberto working with us in this process because there's nobody in the world who does curation of resources better than John. And so we have designed a new learning model that will immerse you into a rich and creative learning environment that includes such things as online live presentations from our cadre of nationally known experts in the field of faith formation, mixed in with self-paced online learning, mixed in with a good solid online learning community, so this won't be an isolated experience for you. In fact, we, with each cohort, there will be a learning guide that will meet with you one-to-one -one and invite you into small group uh, consultation uh, with uh, other learnings along the way. So you might ask, okay, who, who is Vibrant Faith University for? It is for leaders who care about the future of faith formation. Whether you are a full-time, part-time, or volunteer ministry leader, you may be a pastor or a Christian education director or faith formation coordinator of children, youth, family, or any number of other ministry leadership roles. If you want to guide your faith community in embracing this 21st century approach to faith formation, we believe Vibrant Faith University is for you. We call it applied learning. Everything that you do, all your coursework is designed to be applied directly to your ministry setting. Each course has immediate applications. In fact, a great deal of your coursework will also be your work work, your parish work. And when you emerge a couple years down the line as a Vibrant Faith University graduate, you will have in hand, if not already in implementation, a comprehensive and dynamic plan for effective faith formation. Because you will have learned how to translate the best uh, research into approaches, practices, and resources. Your congregation will have become intentionally intergenerational. You will be prepared for the changing religious landscape of the 21st century. You will be introduced to new models, tools, resources, approaches that recognize the diverse religious and spiritual needs of people today and you will have been empowered to develop a missional approach to reach out to people where they are today in their home, their work, and their community. So those six key factors that I shared with you earlier correspond directly to the six courses. So picture it this way, over a two-year period, six courses. Each course is 15 weeks long. Like I said, I'll take you to a, a, a picture of, of one of the courses in, in just a moment. But just to list them, the courses are forming that faith-forming culture uh, in the congregation. Two, intergenerational faith formation. Three, family faith formation. Four, age group faith formation. Five, missional faith formation. And six, leading faith formation for the 21st century. Each course follows a similar pattern. Three, over the course of the, uh, uh, of the course, <laughs> um, three online learning sessions live with your instructors. And mixed in between those, are self-paced learning sessions with lots of application to your ministry setting. 
you'll be introduced to and invited to, to read some terrific books, uh, as well as articles and podcasts and the rest uh, to uh, accentuate your learning. And all of that takes place uh, in, the, in the learning platform. And finally, I mentioned uh, each course will have a learning guide where you'll have one-to-one -one and small group consultation. This is an online learning experience. You don't have to travel, but we are committed to surrounding you with personalized support uh, as opposed to uh, an isolated uh, online learning experience. So let me take you to the, uh, uh, the platform that we're using. The learning management system is called Course Sites, which is powered by Blackboard, an incredibly robust learning management system uh, Blackboard is used in many colleges and universities all across the country, and Course Sites offers all the same tools for learning uh, that that are available uh, in in Blackboard. So I'm uh, I'm on our uh, first course, Reimagining Faith Formation. Over here on the left side is the dashboard that helps me journey through the course week by week. Starts with course over overview. When I click on that. I'm given the page that gives me all of the information that I need to get going in this course. As, and you see that laid out here. So uh, this is good orientation. And as you can see in the dashboard, we've, we've laid out the course on a weekly basis. We envision that you would spend two and a half to three hours a week engaged in um, your coursework with Vibrant Faith University. About an hour of reading each week and then uh, other, uh, other uh, study and, and other work that you do. And so each week is laid out in steps, uh, like this very first week has four steps, act, discuss, read, watch, and learn. So let me, let me take you inside that. Start with the first part, act. It, it, we invite you to do this activity called Shape of the World. The video down here would give some brief instructions on how to do the activity. And then I click on the activity itself. The worksheet pops up here. I complete the worksheet. And then I go back and I am invited to do the discuss. That's part two. Uh, in effect, there's a couple of discussion questions that I engage with my fellow classmates about this activity. So I click through to the discussion forum. Here are the questions. I click on reply and, um, and there you go. Step three in week one is the reading assignments. Two different reading assignments for that week uh, shown here. And then finally, the last step of week one is essentially the, uh, the lecture material, if you will, and that there are three parts. Uh, first of all, the slides, and I can click through and look at the slides that are presented. Uh, the idea is read through those first and then view the two videos uh, where, uh, in this case, uh, John Roberto leads us uh, through those slides. Uh, in looking at the material for this week. So that's a look at one week of Vibrant Faith University learning. That is uh, self-paced learning in that week. I want to take you to another week that shows two things that are crucial of, or, or that I'd like to share with you. Uh, one, uh, week three has two things that are helpful. An assignment. I want to show you what an assignment looks like. So uh, in this case, and, and typically each course will have two assignments uh, that you're responsible for. I click through on this assignment and it's uh, to complete the Vibrant Faith Congregational Assessment Tool. So uh, that's available to me here. Here's the tool. I would, I would complete the assessment. It's just one page. I may even give it to other leaders in my congregation to get more data. Uh, that would be helpful uh, to do as well. Then I come back and I view the short video that helps me interpret the assessment. That's this video here. 
And then for the actual, to complete the assignment, I respond to the questions that are listed here. How do I do that? Well, I scroll down and I have the option to write my responses to those questions in this text box, uh, or I can write them on a, in another document and attach that uh, as an attached file. So that's the quick look at uh, course sites uh, and, and uh, one of our courses uh, in, the, in the learning platform. So I just want to go back here and uh, simply point out that we believe that in partnership with you, Vibrant Faith University can really change the face of how faith formation is done in the 21st century. Think of it this way. Your commitment is two years. The learning that you gain will last your whole life, and the application of your learning in your ministry setting could last through the generations. I simply cannot think of a better way to spend a couple thousand dollars. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the introduction. Uh, I'm wondering what sort of questions we have and uh, or thoughts that uh, that you might have. Um, anything on the screen, Jared? Yeah, tell you what, Leif, why don't, um, let's have you stop screen sharing for the moment. Yeah. Um, that way we're not seeing me a whole bunch of times. So right. yeah, everybody, um, there weren't, there weren't questions yet, but I, uh, that's because we were all captivated, Leif. <laughs> feel, I'm sure uh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody feel free, if, if there's something that, if there's something that came up, something you were curious about, a question you'd like to ask, go ahead and put that in the in the chat box. Um, if we want to want to pull something up again, we can pull up a screen again. A um, couple of uh, couple yeah. of details that folks might be interested in. Uh, our first cohort starts uh, January 11th. That's uh, that's when course number one starts for our first class. Uh, currently, I think we have about a dozen people already registered. The cutoff will be 30 people, uh, and we're talking with prospective students every day. Uh, not to put pressure on you, but I, I'm sure that this cohort will fill up uh, in the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. um, if you're leaning in that direction, um, don't, don't hesitate too long. Yeah. Um, when a student signs up um, and the registration is, is available right there on that, uh, on that web page, uh, you'll, you'll make a $250 deposit. Uh, and then you'll be uh, invoiced for your uh, remaining first year tuition uh, shortly thereafter. So uh, think of it this, uh, this way. Each year is a $1,000 uh, tuition. When you register, you make a $250 deposit, and then you're invoiced for the uh, remaining amount. Great. Thanks for that, Leif. Yeah. Um, hey, Linda had a Linda had a question wondering um, wondering if classes run over the summer, and then I uh, and if you could kind of say what the uh, what are kind of the requirements for being considered a graduate. Right. Good. Uh, yes, we do. We do plan uh, cohort number two, class number two. We envision starting uh, in early May, and and so that would be uh, the group that would journey through the summer. May, June, July, August, uh, and um, uh, so, so th that's that's a short answer. Yes, mm -hmm. um, requirements to graduate. Uh, essentially, the completion of each course, and that uh, that is uh, participation um, in in both the uh, self-paced learning and the live sessions completion uh, of the assignments. And as you go through, uh, I didn't show you assignment number two uh, for course number one, but our vision is that the second assignment in each course uh, becomes building blocks toward a, a major uh, project that you're working on to develop this faith forming culture in your ministry setting. And so by the end, uh, 
of, of course six, you're, you're submitting um, a major project that's a culmination of, of the assignments that you have completed through the other courses. Uh, it's those assignments that will be reviewed by the course instructors and um, and and generally it's it's a pass fail uh, situation. In other words, if if you complete the work, then um, then you will become a graduate. Great, Christina, Father, thank you for that, Leaf. Yeah, um, Linda, hope that hope that answers that question. Feel free to type something in if. Um, if there's anything else specific you would like to hear. Um, and everybody, other, uh, feel free to pop in other questions. We've got just about five more minutes of our, of our planned allotted time. Right at the end, we'll, we'll just give you a quick, okay, here's what you could do from here, um, from, the chair, from the chair you're sitting in. If you either have got certain other questions or you're uh, ready to go find, a, find one of the cohorts or whatever it might be, we'll give you just kind of where you, where you go from here in just a minute. Um, but other questions, other, uh, other things you are wondering about, feel free to just type those into the, into the chat box or hit that, hit that ask a question button again, um, and we'll go from there. I, good question, Sue. Leaf, I don't know if you're seeing that. Um, so two quick. Uh, Sue, what, uh, what happens if we find out that's not, the fit we're looking for. Um, so I'm, ass I'm assuming you're just kind of thinking if we if we sign up, it's not I you know we get through part of a course uh, or at least get started, and it's not quite the right thing. Yeah, Sue, that's a good question. Uh, here's here's what I would envision is that uh, if if circumstances arise where uh, all of a sudden journeying through Vibrant Faith University just is impossible for me, or this isn't what I expected, uh, or whatever, then that's a conversation that you and I would want to have uh, on the phone, in person, and uh, and then what we would do is, um, with respect to the finances, we would talk through how to prorate the, um, the well, the refund uh, that would come to you. However, my posture would be, from from my point of view, is at least, um, at least go through one full course uh, before that kind of a decision is made. Unless, of course, there are life circumstances that 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 dictate otherwise. Uh, um, so it's a it's a personal conversation that we would have to um, to figure this out and to determine what uh, what the future future steps would be, even if it's uh, how we part ways. Yeah, thanks, Leif. Uh, a few more did come in, so um, we'll see if we can hit some of these in the last minute. Matthew's wondering about overlap between Vibrant Faith University and Faith Formation 2020. Yeah, you know, um, Matthew, the the material in John Roberto's uh, book, Faith Formation uh, 2020, uh, and and this work, um, there's there's probably some overlap, but um, John himself, as well as the rest of us, have have moved quite a bit since that book was published in terms of, of a vision of, of particularly around uh, reaching that population that is spiritual but not religious, the missional approach. And uh, so I think you'll find, well, for example, that, that book is not part of the reading list because the more recent material, particularly that John has worked on, is more prevalent and, and, and more relevant. Mm -hmm. Good foundational, I'm glad you're familiar with that, so you have a sense of where we're headed, but, uh, but we're gonna go uh, even further than, than what you find uh, in that material. Yeah, thanks, Leif, well said. Yeah, and you know, really, um, in looking at the both courses and materials, rooted, as you mentioned, Leif, in the, some of the most recent, some of the most recent research, some of which is within, which is definitely inside of the last year even, Mm -hmm. um, of mm -hmm. things that came out. So it kind of related, Tanya, we'll get to your, to yours in just a second. Um, Anne was wondering, um, maybe just more broadly, um, Anne's been to other vibrant faith things, seminars, symposium, webinars, right. uh, probably how, what about overlap between how much of an overlap is, is and there and the rest of our stuff? Yeah. You're going to hear some similar themes and some, uh, some similar ideas. 
for example, to uh, what I have taught in the uh, Do What Matters uh, workshop. Uh, however, uh, the whole idea behind this is to go much deeper uh, and dial in much clearer on how to apply these principles uh, around those six things that I, that I shared with you, intergenerational, home, family, uh, age groups, uh, etc. Et but how to dial in specifically in your learning setting. So you'll be given uh, a much deeper introduction uh, to each of these topic areas. Think it's a whole course, not just an hour or so. And, and then you'll have the opportunity to uh, wrestle with each of those topics uh, in applying those uh, to your ministry setting. Great, thanks, Leif. Hope that, uh, and hope that hope that yeah. helps. That's definitely something you could circle back with uh, with Leaf again if um, if you want some more details. Uh, one sure. more from Tanya, and uh, and then we'll and then we'll close up. Um, wondering, Tanya was just wondering about. Uh, you're probably reading it there, Leaf. If there are yeah, other ways to be involved with with similar kind of faith formation learning um, that's not necessarily the full. Full are there other, other yeah, let, me, let me just read that. Are there other ways than the two-year commitment to be involved in this kind of learning about faith formation uh, in, in occasional training? Occasional trainings. Yeah. Uh, Tanya, we have, um, we have two things coming down the pike in 2016 that, that haven't been officially uh, announced yet. One is our national workshop series that will focus particularly on adult faith formation. So, uh, and, and, and we're committed to offering that in 25 sites around the country. Um, it's called Engaging Adults, and you'll be hearing about that uh, very soon. So if adult faith formation is of interest to you, it will be a good solid training day. We also are uh, in the early stages of forming a, um, a training experience um, that, that we're simply calling Vibrant Faith Congregations. And uh, in an intensive way through training and coaching, we want to bring some of the very same material through Vibrant, that is available through Vibrant Faith University to a congregational team. Uh, picture a congregation that really wants to, as a whole, reframe uh, faith formation. And, uh, and so, uh, so that's coming down the pike uh, as well, and uh, you'll see information about that relatively soon. Yeah, the the third uh, the third thing that we'll yeah. have just some um, some similar tone because we're overlaying the the ecosystem is our um, our our kind of main webinar series for next year, um, our main future of faith formation webinar series. So our our uh, six to eight time, you know, over the course of the year, um, in a, in a, in a quick webinar, we'll talk about the elements of, um, of the, the ecosystem that is kind of overlaying Vibrant Faith University. Um, that is going to be a quick hit and a lot higher level, um, talking about the overall, the overall things. And there will not be, there will not be much uh, of this applied learning application idea there. So we'll talk about the ecosystem as a whole, um, doesn't doesn't dig near as deep um, as as this is going to and, and give much application. So so a few different ways, Tanya um, Leaf. Thanks for that to yeah. potentially engage with some with some different things. Um, while at the same time saying, uh, if you're ready for this, this is the place to to dive in. So um, thanks everybody for for logging on, Leaf. Uh, thank you very much. I yeah, think thank even you. No, they can't. Even though you. none of them can. I can't, we're not hearing any of them. I guarantee every one of them is clapping loudly. Um, so thanks everybody for, for logging on. So uh, you might be in a couple different places. Last thing, a couple different places uh, right now. Um, one, you uh, might have already registered for that first cohort and you were looking for some more info. Great. Um, uh, hopefully this was just really helpful in, in continuing to wrap your head around it. Um, that, that's great. You may, uh, you may have just been, been coming, you've been close. You've been thinking, yeah, this is probably the right thing 
um, but I'd love to grab some more info. If that's the case, and this was helpful, um, like Leaf said, the registration, it's open right now. Um, we've got another uh, you know, like 15 to 18 spots open for this first cohort that starts in January. So, uh, so if you are ready, go register. Um, vibrantfaith.org slash VFU. I put it in the chat box again. And um, you can find the links there to, to register. The other thing that you can find there um, is a, uh, a comprehensive breakdown of all of, all of this information um, that's downloadable right from that web page. So you can take a look right there. Um, if you have questions that are lingering, if that's the spot you're in right now, uh, Leaf's email is, I, I put it in the chat box just oh, a You already ago. put it in, okay. Yep, I was just, it's I was in just there. typing that, but if it's already there, oh, I see it. Yep. Yeah, it's the okay. third one down there. Feel free mm -hmm. to email Leaf. He's glad to engage with you in whatever's helpful. If that's, uh, if that's a, an email back and forth of info or, or a quick phone call, something like that, um, he's glad to chat with you and, and help see if this is the, the right dots to connect what you're looking for. So, um, Perfect, Leaf. There's the there's the phone number. So thank you. Yep, that's my direct line. So happy to talk. Thanks again, Leaf. Well done, everybody. We appreciate uh, we appreciate your chat, your questions. Um, thanks for joining with us. Blessings. Thank you. Thanks, Jared. Appreciate it. Thanks, Leaf.